The best uh, image was taken on October 2nd by the high-rise come around board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. And unfortunately, the argument is because of the government shutdown, this data was never released. For over a month, NASA has remained unusually silent about three Atlas, the interstellar object that recently passed perihelion and baffled astronomers with its erratic brightening and vanishing tail. What's even more alarming is that several observatories across the US, Japan and China have reported being restricted from sharing new visual data. Independent astronomers claim that images and videos submitted to public archives were quietly removed or marked as verification pending, effectively blocking public access. Normally, NASA promotes transparency during such cosmic events, but this blackout feels deliberate. Amateur astronomers from Tokyo's Saitama Observatory, the Kawa Ato team in Spain, and a few Chinese observatories released frames showing 3E Atlas during its closest approach to the Sun, moments before the images were reportedly taken down. What did these astronomers really capture, and why was the world denied a chance to see it? Let's see some of the videos and images from Japan, China, and various amateur astronomers who captured 3E Atlas during its perihelion footage that was later denied and suppressed by NASA. This particular clip was taken by the National Astronomical Observatories of China on October 29th, when 3I Atlas was at its closest point to the Sun. In the video, the object appears to emit a faint blue beam toward the Sun's surface, seemingly disturbing the solar plasma, which then reacts and strikes back toward the object. This is the clip from another observatory, same footage but zoomed in. Although the footage has been enhanced using AI for clarity, it was reconstructed directly from the original observational data. When it was first released, Many astronomers dismissed it as fake because no visible cometary tail could be seen, something that contradicted all known comet behavior. But in a striking turn on November 6, Spain's Our Novice Observatory captured a verified image confirming that 3 Atlas indeed had no tail after perihelion. This finding indirectly supports the authenticity of the earlier Chinese clip, raising questions about why NASA has remained completely silent ever since. And China is not alone. Just a day later, on October 30th, the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan released another clip of 3E Atlas, and this one was even more revealing. Captured by a spacecraft positioned much closer to the Sun, the footage shows 3E Atlas from the side, clearly appearing as a long cylindrical structure rather than a typical comet. What's truly shocking is the visible light radiating from the object's surface, not reflected sunlight, but a steady glow that looks more like artificial illumination. And yes, there was also no visible tail or coma. Moreover, 3T Atlas doesn't appear to be moving or tumbling through space. Instead, it remains stationary, seemingly holding its position as it faces the sun directly, as if it were designed to withstand or interact with solar radiation. The clip quickly went viral across Asian and European social media sparking debates among astronomers and researchers about its origin and authenticity. Yet despite its worldwide circulation, no US media outlet or NASA channel has acknowledged or shown this footage, maintaining complete silence over what could be one of the most extraordinary space observations ever recorded. Now comes perhaps the most shocking footage yet, from the Russian space agency Roscosmos State Corporation. Their clip, which has gone viral among Russian astronomers, shows three atlas shining with an intensity that momentarily appears brighter than the sun itself. At the center of the object, a deep blue core can be seen glowing steadily, almost pulsing, as if energy were being generated or concentrated within. The footage was recorded during perihelion, but was quickly dismissed by US media as overexposed or digitally altered. However, days later, US astrophysicist Avi Loeb commented that after perihelion, 3i, Atlas did indeed become unexpectedly brighter and bluer than the Sun in certain spectral bands, something natural physics can't easily explain. He suggested that the behavior might indicate an internal or artificial power source, potentially harnessing energy directly from solar radiation. This statement reignited the debate across the global astronomy community. If it's generating or collecting energy, it might be the first time humanity has observed something operating with technology beyond our own, and NASA's silence only deepens the mystery. Then comes the account of a Russian amateur astronomer, 
the same one who first discovered the bodies of interstellar objects years ago. He had been tracking 3E Atlas for months, convinced something about its motion wasn't natural. During Perihelion, he released a video that briefly showed what appeared to be a tail, but he later explained that it was only an optical illusion caused by the telescope's lens flare and AI-enhanced reconstruction of the footage. What's truly shocking, though, isn't the illusion. It's what the clip revealed about the object's survival. At its closest point to the sun, 3 i Atlas was exposed to temperatures exceeding 5,500 Dersi, hot enough to vaporize any known metal, rock, or spacecraft within seconds, yet it remained completely intact. No fragmentation, no disintegration, no visible damage. This raises a question that has baffled scientists and engineers alike. What is 3 i Atlas made of? What kind of material or shielding could withstand such extreme solar radiation without breaking apart? Its composition suggests something far beyond human technology, a design capable of surviving where no known probe, satellite or comet ever could. If these clips seem fake to you, then watch till the end to know the proof. This footage comes from an anonymous amateur astronomer in the United States, who chose not to reveal his identity, fearing his life might be in danger. He claimed to have recorded three Atlas during its perihelion, using a high-resolution solar telescope, and what he captured is unlike anything seen before. In the clip, thin filaments appeared to extend outward from the object, delicate glowing structures that moved almost organically, resembling the tentacles of an octopus. These filaments seemed to reach into the solar plasma, drawing in streams of energy before retracting again. The phenomenon lasted only seconds, but the detail was unmistakable. According to the astronomer, this wasn't a glitch or artifact. The motion was deliberate and rhythmic, as if the object were harnessing plasma directly from the sun. But it doesn't stop there. British UFO researcher Nick Pope, a former investigator for the UK Ministry of Defence, claimed that during a live broadcast by the European Space Agency, he witnessed something extraordinary. He said the footage showed thousands of small moving objects surrounding the sun, each one glinting like tiny metallic probes. According to Pope, these weren't solar particles or camera artifacts. They appeared to maneuver intelligently, as if maintaining distance from both the sun and from each other. He suggested that 3E Atlas might not be traveling alone, but could be carrying or deploying smaller companion probes, exactly what astrophysicist Avi Loeb had theorized months earlier. Loeb speculated that the object may release smaller entities that reach nearby planets while it continues along its course to the next star. But after perihelion, this object has changed. It turned bluer, its trajectory shifted, and many amateur astronomers around the world began sharing closely similar clips. Right now, something is happening in our solar system that's sending scientists scrambling for explanations. The interstellar object NASA's been tracking, 3E Atlas, is roughly the size of Manhattan. When scientists sent the footage to Professor Jack Gilbert at the Scripps Institute of Oceanography, the microbiologist could hardly believe what he was seeing. That's a paramecium, he said, a single-celled organism normally seen under a microscope. A paramecium moves by waving thousands of tiny cilia, creating smooth rippling motions that look almost choreographed. And now, a structure millions of kilometers across was moving in the exact same way. How could a living organism resemble an interstellar object? The first group argued that 3E Atlas might be a living organism, not a ship, not a rock, but a biological entity adapted for interstellar survival. They proposed that before its close pass to the sun, it shielded itself inside a metal-like cocoon, a protective exoscale capable of withstanding heat and radiation. Then, at perihelion, it opened that shell and absorbed solar energy to regenerate, feeding directly on stellar radiation. To them, this could explain why it appeared brighter and bluer afterward, because it was alive and actively producing energy. The second theory was even stranger. Other researchers suggested that 3A Atlas could be a hybrid, a fusion of technology and biology, an artificial craft with a living core, or a living organism enhanced with engineered propulsion. That, they argued, could explain why it emitted thrust-like jets after it began to look organic. Now, R.V. Loeb directly addressed those who still insist that 3E Atlas is just a comet. To make his point, 
he showed a comparison clip of Comet Nishimura recorded on September 2023. In that footage, Nishimura approaches the sun and within seconds, its glowing tail fades away, stripped and vaporized by the intense solar plasma. The comet disintegrates, just as every known comet does when it ventures too close to the sun's corona. But 3i Atlas behaved nothing like that. When it reached perihelion, instead of disintegrating or even dimming, it appeared to resist the solar radiation completely. Loeb pointed out that its surface brightness actually increased. It became five times brighter and turned a deep electric blue, a hue associated with ionized plasma, not with ordinary reflection or ice sublimation. And rather than losing mass, 3i Atlas seemed to absorb energy from the sun, almost as if it were feeding on solar plasma itself. After perihelion, its luminosity intensified further, far beyond what thermal reflection or outgassing could explain. Loeb described this as evidence of an internal power source, something capable of surviving and even thriving within conditions hotter than 5,000 Desiree, hot enough to vaporize steel, titanium and rock, yet 3K Atlas remained intact. And not only that, after perihelion, Dr. Loeb noted that 3E Atlas's trajectory had changed in a way that could not be explained by gravity alone. The object appeared to deviate slightly from its predicted orbital path, suggesting that another force was at work, possibly internal propulsion or an artificial push. What's more concerning is that this new path brings it closer to Earth than originally calculated. Loeb warned that if 3E Atlas experiences another small shift while passing near Jupiter's gravitational field, its course could bend further inward. In that case, the interstellar object might not just pass by, it could arrive. According to current orbital calculations, 3 Atlas will make its closest approach to Earth on December 19, 2025, just six days before Christmas. At that point, it will still be 7 million kilometers away, close enough to observe, but not close enough to strike. However, scientists like Dr. Loeb have warned that even a small change in its trajectory could alter the outcome. If 3E Atlas were to be pulled off course, for example during its interaction with Jupiter's gravity, and collide with Earth, the impact would be catastrophic. An object of its estimated size could release energy equivalent to millions of nuclear bombs, wiping out entire regions, altering the atmosphere, and triggering global climate effects. Even without a direct impact, if it were an artificial or powered object, the implications of it entering near-Earth space would be unlike anything humanity has ever faced. So, what do you think? Is 3 Atlas just a strange interstellar rock acting on its own? Or something being guided, maybe even powered by technology we don't yet understand? And, if its path really is shifting closer to Earth, should we be preparing for impact, or for contact? Let us know what you believe in the comments below. And if you want to stay updated as new data from NASA and Dr. Loeb's team comes in, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications, because the story of 3A Atlas is far from over. According to Pope, these weren't solar particles or camera artifacts. They appeared to maneuver intelligently, as if maintaining distance from both the sun and from each other. He suggested that 3 Atlas might not be traveling alone, but could be carrying or deploying smaller companion probes, exactly what astrophysicist Avi Loeb had theorized months earlier. Loeb speculated that the object may release smaller entities that reach nearby planets while it continues along its course to the next star. But after perihelion, this object has changed, it turned bluer, its trajectory shifted, and many amateur astronomers around the world began sharing closely similar clips. Right now, something is happening in our solar system that's sending scientists scrambling for explanations. The interstellar object NASA's been tracking, 3A Atlas, is roughly the size of Manhattan. When scientists sent the footage to Professor Jack Gilbert at the Scripps Institute of Oceanography, the microbiologist could hardly believe what he was seeing. That's a paramecium, he said, a single-celled organism normally seen under a microscope. A paramecium moves by waving thousands of tiny cilia, creating smooth rippling motions that look almost choreographed. And now, a structure millions of kilometers across was moving in the exact same way. How could a living organism resemble an interstellar object? The first group argued that 3E Atlas might be a living organism. Not a ship, not a rock, but a biological entity adapted for interstellar survival. 
They proposed that before its close pass to the sun, it shielded itself inside a metal-like cocoon, a protective exoscale capable of withstanding heat and radiation. Then, at perihelion, it opened that shell and absorbed solar energy to regenerate, feeding directly on stellar radiation. To them, this could explain why it appeared brighter and bluer afterward, because it was alive and actively producing energy. The second theory was even stranger. Other researchers suggested that 3 Atlas could be a hybrid, a fusion of technology and biology, an artificial craft with a living core, or a living organism enhanced with engineered propulsion. That, they argued, could explain why it emitted thrust-like jets after it began to look organic. Now, RV Loeb directly addressed those who still insist that 3E Atlas is just a comet. To make his point, he showed a comparison clip of Comet Nishimura, recorded on September 23, 2023. In that footage, Nishimura approaches the sun, and within seconds, its glowing tail fades away, stripped and vaporized by the intense solar plasma. The comet disintegrates, just as every known comet does when it ventures too close to the sun's corona. But 3 Eye Atlas behaved nothing like that. When it reached perihelion, instead of disintegrating or even dimming, it appeared to resist the solar radiation completely. Loeb pointed out that its surface brightness actually increased. It became five times brighter and turned a deep electric blue, a hue associated with ionized plasma, not with ordinary reflection or ice sublimation. And rather than losing mass, 3 Eye Atlas seemed to absorb energy from the sun almost as if it were feeding on solar plasma itself. After perihelion, its luminosity intensified further, far beyond what thermal reflection or outgassing could explain. Loeb described this as evidence of an internal power source, something capable of surviving and even thriving within conditions hotter than 5,000 gores, hot enough to vaporize steel, titanium and rock, yet three that remained intact. And not only that, after perihelion, Dr. Loeb noted that 3 Atlas's trajectory had changed in a way that could not be explained by gravity alone. The object appeared to deviate slightly from its predicted orbital path, suggesting that another force was at work, possibly internal propulsion or an artificial push. What's more concerning is that this new path brings it closer to Earth than originally calculated. Loeb warned that if 3 Atlas experiences another small shift while passing near Jupiter's gravitational field, its course could bend further inward. In that case, the interstellar object might not just pass by, it could arrive. According to current orbital calculations, 3 Atlas will make its closest approach to Earth on December 19, 2025, just six days before Christmas. At that point, it will still be 7 million kilometers away, close enough to observe, but not close enough to strike. However, Scientists like Dr. Loeb have warned that even a small change in its trajectory could alter the outcome. If 308 Atlas were to be pulled off course, for example, during its interaction with Jupiter's gravity and collide with Earth, the impact would be catastrophic. An object of its estimated size could release energy equivalent to millions of nuclear bombs, wiping out entire regions, altering the atmosphere and triggering global climate effects, even without a direct impact. If it were an artificial or powered object, the implications of it entering near-Earth space would be unlike anything humanity has ever faced. So what do you think? Is 3 Atlas just a strange interstellar rock acting on its own, or something being guided, maybe even powered by technology we don't yet understand? And if its path really is shifting closer to Earth, should we be preparing for impact or for contact?